welcome back to Tarot Tats and Tea. I'm actually going to start working, or I have started working, with my 2024 Ritual Planner. And I thought I would actually share this with you. Um, there's nothing overly personal in it, and I just feel um, dem I would like to demonstrate how I have read for myself for the year ahead. Now, I have used the um, year ahead spread within the Ritual Planner. However, I've made a couple of little adjustments to it, um, adding a couple of more, uh, more cards, and I'll explain that when I um, go through it. I've printed off, um, it's in black and white, the energy of the year, because underneath here there's a little sun, it says energy of the year, and that's the card I pulled. And um, although the little printer, it's, it's one of these um, little mini printers, um, print, and it prints stickers, I just felt having that there and it only prints in black and white so it does look dark and it's a boost for me to look at the positive it's a boost for me to say things will move on from this or um, when we look at the energy of the year the energy of the year is not just for us personally but that's the energy of the year globally and the five of pentacles actually does fit in um, with what's going on currently in the world, where we've got um, Russia and Ukraine and Israel and Palestine, and everybody chipping in, chipping in, and it does become a bit of a worry, is this going to get worse? It potentially could get worse before it gets better, but it is causing hardship. It's causing financial worries for many who've been bombed out of their homes. It's caused illness, pain, suffering, for the wounded and for the, the pain on those who have lost loved ones, but also um, it's caused a lot of a lot of um, hurt globally, seeing people hurt, illnesses spreading in countries that have been bombed to bits and there's no medical help for them. It's just horrific. So unfortunately, albeit we're going into a new year of 2024, I don't want to be putting a big bloody dampener on it, but this is the reality of what is going on. So we're going into a new year, January the 1st, new starts, a new moon, more new starts. And this sort of five of pentacles is saying, well, yes, it's all new, but there is still this continuing on. And it's what we can do to help others, what we can do to lift others out of situations. Um, are there families nearby who... who, who whose families have been affected directly with this this um, awful carry-on that's going on? If so, how can you help them? But is it also affecting you and your mental health? Because albeit it's happening not on your doorstep, it's very, very distressing, it's very, very worrying, and it can take a toll physically and mentally. So this, I put this as a reminder to look for the positive, to see the good in people, to not allow um, what is going on to affect how I progress myself throughout this year. Um, it is, it's not that I'm saying we have to ignore it, not at all, but we have to be mindful that we take care of ourselves too, because if we allow it to get in on us, then, you know, it's it's going to have an awful effect. Oh, and by the way, I have had a PJ day today. We had a lovely night out with our neighbours at our neighbour's house next door. So thank you, Mark and Jennifer, for a great night and to all your family that we met and to Michelle and Ed. And I met two new people, uh, Rosie and Billy, who I have to say um, really were a delightful couple to meet. They're, they're brother and sister and they're, they're just lovely, lovely, lovely people. And... Um, Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so moving on, I'm now going to pop up an image of um, the reading and I'm going to go from there and um, see how it goes. <laughs> OK, I hope this is a success. I apologise for the angle that I've got you at, but it's as best as I could get to get the whole spread in. Now you'll see, this is the 12 months. We start here, January, February, March, 
April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. The three cards in the middle are what I have added to this. Oh, well, the, more so the two. This is the energy of the year, which we've already discussed, which was the five of pentacles. These other two are messages from my guides and my ancestors. And before we go into the spread, they're actually saying that, you know, it's time to, to make your voice heard, to not be afraid to stand up, even if it means, a, a, you know, against opposition. If it means that you're, you're going to not so much offend people, but perhaps annoy them because you're standing up and, and saying things as they are, because too much has been hidden, too much has been a little bit devious. And although um, you might not have got involved in something in the past, it's time for you to stand up and say, hold on here, this is not right. And, you know, you could win some people over, but you could really annoy others. But so be it behaviours need to be called out and it's time to stand up and do so and to work collaboratively with people this year don't always feel that I have to do everything on my own that ask and you know help will be given to me whether it's from uh, whatever belief system that one has or um, from my ancestors but from people around me collaboration and working together will create success okay so those are the three cards that I have added in the middle. Now going over here to the Knight of Pentacles in January. It's a new start with the Knight of Pentacles. It's, um, I, I have to ensure that I'm setting up a routine for myself because this, this guy's a worker and this indicates somebody who is hardworking, who, who does like to be successful. But to have a routine that I, I can adhere to that will limit or stop my procrastination, you know, and, and any time I feel like that, sort of sort of seek deep within and, um, you know, step back, look what's going on, make sure I have a routine. It will promote hard work, productivity and self-discipline is key. OK, so that's the intentions that I'm actually going into this new year with, but it's actually applying it. It's stopping that procrastination. As I have said to you many, many a time, that is my downfall. Coming into February here, we have the Ten of Pentacles and it indicates that this could, you know, that there could be long term financial success as long as I'm sensible, as they say, look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. But financial security will come with sensible financial management. And that's what I need to be aware of. And this will get us in, in, into a position of being fairly stable and in, you know, a, a sound financial future. Now, we come to March where we have the King of Cups and the King of Cups demonstrates that I need to be emotionally balanced and in control at this particular time. It also shows the time to be aware of any moodiness, you know, try and try and refrain from being moodiness, from being moody or emotionally manipulating. Equally, it gives you a heads up on how others can be emotionally manipulative and that doesn't have to be in the home that can be outside influences that have um, perhaps overstepped boundaries and um, it's a time to step back from that and take back your power of being in control of you a lot of self-love needed a lot of uh, you know sort of working on oneself now coming into April, we have the Nine of Wands. Now this month, I may need to rely on my own resilience. Okay, bounce back should there be any setbacks. It will require stamina and grit and, um, you know, indicate that it is um, an indication that what's going on is basically the last stand. So whatever battles have come through from 2023 are still hanging around here. So not so much here. These are the two months where I'm getting myself together. But here we can start seeing what's happened in the past is still hanging around. And it is here in April where it will be the last stand. OK, rest will be needed. OK, to avoid fatigue or exhaustion and also be aware of the um, motives of others. 
okay be aware of what is going on in and around your you know in your in your space okay well that's for me i'm talking about me i'm always talking about myself in the third party strange that third person i should say thinking of <laughs> what am i thinking i really don't know what i'm thinking right now we have the king of swords for where are we january february march april may for may now in this month and as we've spoken about procrastination okay but in this month i need to realize the power of my own creativity there is the potential to inspire others as long as i can realize that my creativity does hold a level of um of power that can influence others maybe pick others up and um, direct others but if i am working on others to uh, to avoid any sort of impulsivity or being a bit overbearing or expecting too much from others but to lead and encourage not only people but myself too so really this is focusing on me on taking control of what i can do and not allowing self talk procrastin uh, uh, self negative talk procrastination and um, self-doubt to get me down because I'm in this position now where I, I've realised that, hey, you can do this. You've just got to pull your finger out and get on with it because you just talk about it, but don't do a lot. Now's the time to do. Lead by example. And when others see you doing and they think, well, I would love to do something like that, help them along the way too. And that could be anything where it, within the areas of, of, of where I'm creative with uh, my, my art, with my writing, with my foraging or gardening helping others to start up okay and again not being bossy about it so in june this is the summertime and we've got a bit of a grim card here now this card indicates that there could be feelings of loneliness okay feelings of loneliness um and you know that can you know can create self-doubt once again because I do tend to spend a lot of time with me okay I do make time for, for family and friends but in the main I spend a lot of time with me and I mustn't let negative um, self-talk affect my own self-negative talk affect my own creativity or my mental health etc <coughs> I do apologise. <coughs> to look for the positive in all situations and to realise that, you know, this is temporary. You know, any hurt, pain or grief, look for the optimism, look look for the the, the light in, in the darkness, okay? <coughs> oh, excuse me, where that cough's come from. You know, and um, it's a time for you know positive opportunities to come my way if i look for the light in those dark times now i'll come back to this card in a minute because it's it's really dawned on me how other cards affect this card and i'll come back to that in july we've got the five of swords which seems to be a follow through from this one okay so it's it is continuing and it's this is how you you know elaine whatever's gone on here you will ultimately win but you know do you want to win at all costs and the answer to that i can already say is no i don't particularly want to win at all costs i want things to be able to be fair so whatever happens in june has flown through to july but we, um, you know remember to i've got to remember that two wrongs don't make a right so by behaving as others might have behaved towards me it's not going to fix anything the fix will be temporary you know it might be a time where you know to, to, to put past, resent, past resentments although they're aired it could be a time for forgiveness forgiveness reconciliation and um you know finding peace and harmony again coming into august we have the emperor here okay and it's a time to restructure and take authority over a situation um, 
but there could be communications with the establishment and by that I'm talking about a potential court case coming up which I think is linked to this here when it's at, say in the last stand and um, we do know that there is a court case going coming up and there are people here that have to attend um, and working with any people in his, in the establishment make sure that honesty and clarity is is um to the fore that um everything is um clear and concise um now i have to in this one it's you know it's also saying to you know be disciplined don't lack control but equally don't become bullying or excessively controlling okay so i need to be controlled myself of my emotions of of what's going on and be confident enough to liaise with the people that I need to liaise with in whatever situations that might arise now in september we have the ace of cups so we've got a little bit of a dodgy section here okay it's, it sort of starts here in june it's sort of rectified here in July and in August. I'm now back in control of what's going on. So in in September, with the Ace of Cups, that the creativity could rock it this month, could absolutely rock it. Um, and it will also see me being uh, compassionate towards others, uh, listening to my intuition, and also a lot of self-love, which is something I tend to lack. And in turn, instill this self love will instill further confidence in me, my abilities. But listen to that inner voice, you know, because it does guide us. It guides us in um, everything, okay. And don't repress my emotions, you know. Let them be seen. Not, you know, going rogue and looking like I'm a basket case, but just don't don't repress emotions if somebody make, makes me angry let them know let them realize that they have done something wrong and don't be a doormat okay so now coming up to october we have the hanged man and this is my birthday month so the hanged man it's time to take a break assess what's going on and what more i need to uh, and, sorry and what move i need to make next What's blocking my progress? Again, stop procrastinating, Elaine. Don't get back into that. Your New Year's resolution up here. Stop that procrastination. Let go of any negativity holding me back and see things from a different perspective moving forward. OK, and moving forward, we have the lovely Three of Pentacles. And um, it's it's a card that always brings me hope. And it, look, we had it here as well, the Three of Pentacles, as my advice from my my ancestors so this one here it's sort of implement all the plans that I have worked towards okay work with those who can advise me as part of my team especially those with experience be prepared to collaborate and learn from others don't struggle and work alone if there are others available who can help you because that's a part that I need to really take advice that that's a good advice because I tend to be a little bit um, too independent and a little bit stubborn. In December, look what we have here, the Six of Swords. I also love that card. This month sees the possibility of personal transformation as though going through some sort of rite of passage. Well, if the plans that I've got, that I've put in place and I don't procrastinate, this could all come to fruition here in December. Anything that has held me back will no longer have that ability to do that. Time for success after what has possibly been a bumpy ride. And we can see if we go back here that, yeah, there is a bit of a bumpy ride here, but it is not going to be like that for forever. Just just ride those waves. Now, if we look, looking at the Three of Swords here, because often we can become a little bit, a bit sort of... Um, concerned when we see cards that can be deemed as the darker cards of tarot not so much negative because sometimes I do feel the darker cards of tarot are there to get us to look further and deeper into ourselves and this would after all what's going on here this would be right because you sort of question yourself and you think oh what role 
do I play here? What's going on? How do I overcome what's going on? But it's because I'm letting go of the negativity that has been holding me back and I'm moving to from what has been a bit of a bumpy ride to much calmer times, more successful for me as, as um, a person, as somebody who is, is retired but has so many interests, that these interests could start taking off and being something that will move me into a different way of life, a different path that will bring me um, harmony and peace and tranquility. So that's my year ahead. I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, yes I've used my little wand there to uh, to guide you through it. Um, I'm going to pop my book here, that's where I've written all my notes and um, I haven't done my um, card of the day today but what I am going to do, I'm going to do my month ahead today and I'm going to start, I'll do January the 1st today and uh, just have a look back on my day and see if the cards that I pull for th th this evening reflect what has happened in my day. So that was my year ahead. Um, thank you for letting me share it here. And uh, hope, well, I hope you don't mind me sharing it here because it, it sort of sometimes people say, well, I've got to do my year ahead spread. What can I do? How do I do it? And that's just how I've done mine. Um, and it's it's something that gives you food for thought and it also is something that if you do get cards you think oh my god you just say hold on a second we look at this we are now forewarned that there could be potential hiccups along the way so we look at situations as they arise and we adjust our response to things accordingly and it gives us the opportunity to swerve too much negativity <laughs> <laughs> so um, thanks for being here I'm going to get on now with my month ahead and that one I'm going to keep to me and um, also my day it's going to be interesting to pull the cards um, the card of the day this time of day just to see has it picked up on how my day's been today it's been a good day it's been a very good day Take care, everyone. All the best for 2024. And uh, I look forward to seeing any of your year aheads, if, if you'd like to share them. You don't have to, of course. They're very private readings. But there wasn't too much in this that I felt I haven't spoken about before, that I um, haven't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just how I'm being guided by tarot. And um, it's not something that's overly um, personal because there's, it's not revealed too many secrets <laughs> so i don't mind i don't mind sharing it take care have a great evening and uh, enjoy the rest of the week bye now <laughs>